Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Every human person while going through life falls, falls again and again in life. And we are beaten, we are bruised, we are battered and yet we need to continue with our life's journey. We are so broken by the sickness of ourselves and our dear ones. We are broken by the hardships of life. We are broken by the challenges and difficulties coming our way one after the other. We are broken by the burdens of life, burdens of debt, burdens of the commitments, burdens of liabilities. We are broken. Sometimes we feel that there is no point in continuing with this kind of existence. And that's why there are young people who decide to run away from life. They try to escape from life. God does not allow us to be broken forever. He is the God who restores the broken. That is the call that God extends to us in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33 verses 6 to 9. I am going to bring it to recovery and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. I will restore the fortunes of Judah and the fortunes of Israel and rebuild them as they were at first. I will cleanse them from all the guilt of their sin against me and I will forgive all the guilt of their sin and rebellion against me. And this city shall be to me a name of joy of praise and a glory before all the nations of the earth who shall hear of all the good that I do for them. They shall fear and tremble because of all the good and all the prosperity I provide for it. So God is there to restore the broken. If we are broken, today we are going to experience the Lord putting the broken pieces together and making us a whole, instilling his life spirit so that we may continue with the life, that we may not give up life. Sometimes we feel that we have to fight with things and persons who are beyond our capacity to handle. And such was the case with Jacob in the book of Genesis chapter 32. The second part of uh, chapter 32 from verses 22 to 32, we hear about Jacob wrestling with God. And at the end of this wrestling, Jacob is a different person. He is limping and yet he has a new identity now. He has a new perspective in life because he realizes through the process of breaking and binding, he has discovered God with new eyes, new perspective. And this is a battle which is a personal battle. It is not a communal battle, but a personal battle. We all of us have our personal battles with life. In verse 24 of Genesis chapter 32, Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. So we all of us have our own share of personal battle. 
and we may be broken at the end. That's what we see in verse 25. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he struck him on the hip socket, and Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. So we are struck, and naturally we fall. That's why we see in verse 31 that Jacob is limping. In verse 31 we read, The sun rose upon him as he passed Penuel, limping because of his hip. But he is limping, true. But he has also, he is a changed person now. Because in verses 27 and 28 we read, So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. Then the man said, You shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and with the humans and have prevailed. Jacob was given a new name, new identity, new vision of life. So every time when we fall, when we are broken, we can be sure that God is opening up newer vistas, newer pathways. And that's what we also see, a God who binds the broken wounds. In the book of Job, we read in chapter 5, verse 18, For he wounds, but he binds up. He strikes, but his hands heal. If we think that God is causing me to be broken, it is the same God who is also going to bind me. We read in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26. Moreover, the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold like the light of seven days on the day when the Lord binds up the injuries of his people and heals the wounds inflicted by his blow. And Jesus, our Lord, is the supreme example of the one who was binding the brokenhearted was giving a new life, new vision to those who have lost hope in life. We read in the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 5, verses 25 to 29, about the woman who has been suffering for 12 years. She is broken and she is losing hope in life. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all that she had, and she was no better, but rather grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. For she said, If I but touch his clothes, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhage stopped. And she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And in the history of the church, we have a saint who was broken. And God gave him a new vision. St. Ignatius of Loyola, 500 years from now, in 1521, he was broken in the battle at Pamplona, when a cannonball hit his right leg. He was shattered, but God had a new plan for him. He became, from soldier of his master, he became soldier of Christ. In Japan, there is an art form 
which is known as Kintsugi, literally meaning gold splicing. It is an art form by which broken articles are put together. Broken items are glued with golden adhesive, enhancing the break lines, thus making them pieces which are unique, pieces which have great aesthetic value. It is said that in 15th century, Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimasa broke his favorite cup. Now he wanted this cup to be restored. So he sent the broken pieces to China. Now this cup came back with the stapled, the broken pieces stapled with the metal wires. Now the cup looked restored, but the metal pieces looked ugly. So the local craftsmen took the cup and they put golden adhesives at all the cracks and they filled the cracks with the golden uh, lacquer. And that became a precious uh, possession of the Shogun. And this is a wonderful example for how God can put together the broken pieces and make them something worth, something more beautiful. Dear brothers and sisters, let us not lose hope when we find everything broken in life because God can put these broken pieces together as in the case of Kintsugi and give us a new identity, a new value, new direction, new perspective in life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.